How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Nerd Games and we're here today with The Crooked Man. Now I know I said a while ago that I have actually seen this game being played before but that was probably a good 2-3 years ago now so I don't know what to expect much anyway going into it. I remember snippets but not much. I don't remember things very well anyway but I'm really excited to go back in. This will be our new Friday video by the way. The Crooked Man. Oh sorry, get the mouse off the screen. I do that every time. It must be ritual kind of thing. Anyway, this game contains hidden surpri uh, sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor with horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. Heave, you've been warned guys. You has been warned. Ah, what nice music. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. There we go, there we go. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. No, what a rhyme. I'm not really... I, I, I kind of remember the importance of that rhyme, but kind of don't as well. Anyway. Pool. Okay. Phew. Finally, things look tidy in here. Mm, that should be that. Is there anything else we could help you with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. Uh, I'll have to pay you back sometime. Alright, Paul and da David is the main character? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, Paul. Um, oh, it's just be my voice, okay? Oh, nice. The three of us uh, could go out drinking. <laughs> Get fucking wasted, mate. Okay. I look forward to it already. Uh, well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Bye bye. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, it is. Da I think Dave is the main character. So, the main character is a, is a male for once. The last few games that we played, it's been a, they've been female, haven't they? This is really weird. Anyway, huh? Sheesh. Dave got his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Fuck sakes, Dave. At uh, Paul, even. Damn it. Damn it, Paul! Ah, Paul, I, I need you to take your light. What? I need you to take your license, Paul. You hear someone. Um, okay. I imagine that's a stage direction. Who, who the fuck's speaking? What? What? Well, I'm confused. What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy, it's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? God damn it, is this. Sorry, one minute. This is gonna make a nasty noise, maybe. There we go. Sorry, it's just repetitioning the mic. Okay. Ugh! Oh, damn it. Damn it. I fucking knocked everything. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. Uh, he wanted to move... To, uh, he wanted me for a pace, uh, change of pace. And that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much, much furniture. I don't know who's speaking right now, so I don't know much about voices. Besides, you told me to look for this place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. Is that Marion? Because she seemed like she was being quite nice and Paul seemed like he was being a bit of a dick. Anyway, if it's that way around, I don't know. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. That's the quickest makeup in history. Okay. The talking gets distant. Oh, uh, we, should, we should go away. We should go away. Sorry. Um, license can wait, I guess. Better go to bed. Uh, Can we have a bit of a look around first? Because... You know, not much is going on at the moment. I mean, clothes inside. It's really weird, because the other one, the other games have had really big houses, you know, really big open areas. This one, this, this seems like a really, really small apartment. A wash basin. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's tiny. It's, it's really not that big. It's like three different rooms. Uh, no reason to go out. I want to know what outside my apartment, ah, it looks like. Damn phone. Ah. Hello? Oh, sorry. Hello? <laughs> Who is this? Shirley? Who's Shirley? Okay. Well, it's the return of the strange phone noises. Okay. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in a new place. Uh, yeah, boy. But first of all, I want to have a quick look around. Bruh. A sink. Um... Actually, I think this... Okay, maybe it wants us to actually go to bed then. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's got to be stuff to pick up around the apartment. Surely. Man, I'm tired. At least it's re the return of just walking into bed. I'm very happy with that. Because we didn't get that in the last game. 
<laughs> uh, really? <laughs> Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I don't know. I should go complain. Good idea. It's a good idea. Oh, God damn it. Oh, that's what it looks like outside. Okay. Um, 206 looks to be empty. Uh, so, uh, so we're 205 then. Knocking, no response. Looks to be... What? Come on. Bullshit is there. Bullshit are they empty. Bullshit. Oh, fucking bullshit. 201. Oh, that one's not empty. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Uh, pardon me. It's just... I can hear you from my room, even. It's, it's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? How can you hear her? You're like... Two, two, three rooms across. Huh? What are you saying? I was already, uh, I was already asleep. Oh, God damn it! I was asleep until you woke me up. You tried to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. Well done, David, you fucking retard. God. Fucking retard. Anyway. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. Ah. <sighs> She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. <laughs> was it just my imagination? Whatever, I, I better get back to sleep. <sighs> God damn it, David. Oh, Lord. What's that? Yes, yeah, the water. Is the force it busted? No, it's just on. Hmm. Under the bed. Oh. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Maybe... Alright, now I'm really confused as to who is his... As to who was arguing now. Who was the one that was kind of being really nasty to him? Well, about him. And who was the one that was calling him not a rich person? Because now I'm, I'm confused. I imagine Paul was the one being nice because maybe they're best friends and maybe the wife, Marion, wasn't being so nice. But I, th I don't know, I thought it was the other way around, because I didn't get that, that kind of vibe when I... You know, w w when they were speaking in here. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? The crooked man? Hmm? I found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? Oh, shit. What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Sounds very personal. Oh, whatever. I'll go to bed. <laughs> I love David. He just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> this guy just doesn't care. It's like, yeah, yeah, just gonna, you know, just gonna go to bed. I don't care. Okay. That sounds still. Where's that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. Okay, some elements are still coming together then. Of the story. Already. Woken up by the phone. Okay. Hello, Mr. Phone. Hello. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the order. Uh, no, no. I didn't mean just... I'm busy over four hours, so... Yes, I'll come t I'll come visit today. Tell her that from me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept in into noon. Oh, it's like me every day. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Seriously, at the moment, I'm like sleeping until noon most days, which is annoying. Oh, hey, Paul. How are you doing? Paul, what, what is it? I yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Phew, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Cheers, bro. Oh, yeah, Paul, did you, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the bathroom mirror? Uh, what kind of childish brat do you, th you take me for, David? It's, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Okay. Ah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the hell? This is really weird. <laughs> sorry, there's, there's never usually any, like, like background noise in these, in these games. Um, this is really weird. Alright, what what's going on? Are we in a hospital? Oh it's his oh it's his mum. Oh no. Mum, 
it's, it's been a while. Are you okay? Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I might I moved I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. Well, gee, where the fuck did he live when he was younger? Okay. It's near your favorite cake shop too. So when you get better, we can live there together. Oh. My that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make it the best I know how. Mum, it's it's not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Maybe you should. Mum. Mom. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Why are you here? Say something, will you? Ma, ma. Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Oh shit. That must be... Oh, that must be so terrible. Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave her for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Oh no. Well, why are you going? Why are you leaving me? Oh shit. Mum? Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. But Mum, it's me, remember? Mum! Shit. That is terrible. Dave, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said my- I said leave! Oh, sh fucking hell. Ooh. That is, that's nasty. I can't imagine going through, Jesus. Wow, right. Fucking hell, this game's already got a great story. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah. Though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yeah, she's forgotten many things. And she's having, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. Uh, she will. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. I don't think that's easily curable. It sounds like she's got I don't know some kind of dementia. Um, damn this game though. Already the story is it's pretty spectacular. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my shitting fuck on the tits. Oh lord. It was so simple, but so scary. God, it sounded like someone some was shouting at me and roaring or whatever. What What was that? What was that? Was that... Was that the bath shouting at me or something? I, I don't even know. Maybe it was in here. Oh, it was the chair. The chair moved. Right, okay. <laughs> Did I move that chair? Hmm. There's something in the drawer. A uh, leaflet from a school. Ah, cool. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM uh, courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Yeah, maybe. Shit. Anyway. Maybe we, we're going to meet up with some of the former tenants. That'd be interesting. That damn phone. Hello? Hello? Hey David, how are you doing? Haha, <laughs> you just saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. 
Call if you ever lonely, okay? See, now I'm even more confused. Uh, by, by the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. Uh, we didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I, I told her your number. Uh, she was... Uh, she said she was worried about you. It's okay, <clears throat> it's okay. Tell her I don't need her. Uh, her worry. What? Tell her I don't need her worry. Okay, um... She, uh... She should just look out for herself. Alright, well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see you. Okay. Maybe Shirley's like an ex-girlfriend or something. That'd be quite interesting. <laughs> oh, I thought that was quite that was quite adorable. I thought his legs were dangling off the end of the uh the, off the end of the sofa. Anyway, I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Oh shit! I didn't mean to walk out the door. Oh lord! Oh fuck! Stop doing that game. Oh, what? why did I why did it turn it by itself? Is it broken? Sink? What? Yeah. What? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? I don't know. Did it mean the sink? Like the actual sink? Oh shit, I lost. Uh, I didn't read that. Anyway, we've got a scrap of paper. Cool beans. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Uh, whenever I see that, I always think of, and they all live together in the big blue house. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you, any of you remember that show. Anyway, isn't there, isn't this a Mother Goose rhyme? Why is there, why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. See, he is so different to the rest of them. He's just like, I'm just going to forget about it. Fuck this shit. I, I, I'm, I'm just going to forget. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here because I think it's gone on long enough. Because I feel like maybe in the next part, we're going to go into something something different. So I think it'll be quite cool to open the episode like that, maybe. Anyway, I'm really enjoying this so far. The story is so much... I don't know, there's, there's already so much going on in the story and it's already quite rich. And um, that's good. That's good. Because normally they, these games take a while to get going. But already we already, already have a set environment. So we already, we already know what its life's like so far. So maybe... It's going to be fucked up in the next part. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.